Conservative Party of Canada rally in the valley.
this, it's, uh, it's my great pleasure, it's my honor to introduce uh, some other people who want to serve. Some of my colleagues who are running as part of a strong, united, conservative team right here in the province of Nova Scotia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on May 2nd, we are going to paint Nova Scotia blue. <laughs>
Now he's literally helped out thousands of youngsters uh, as a coach, as a mentor, as somebody who uh, spent so much time helping out kids uh, during his career as a teacher and a principal. In his first year as a member of Parliament, this man has done so much for his constituency, including bringing the Central Loma Civic Center to his riding, stealing the name from my constituency. <laughs> but now he is the hard-working member of Parliament from Cumberland and Colchester, Muscadabin Valley, Scott Armstrong. <laughs>
happy job. They're a good deal. You know, folks, I'm going to introduce the individual who has the best job this evening, the job of introducing the Prime Minister. But I have the second best job this evening because I'm going to introduce the next member of Parliament for King's Hat. Recovery 
<laughs> just entering the home stretch, the global recovery remains fragile. And that is why we need his leadership more than ever now to complete the job. He provides steady, proven leadership in the national interest. In fact, to be honest about it, our leader makes us all proud to be Canadian.
Scotia once again, and to me here in Windsor. Yeah. 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 Oh, which has an important place in the history of our national right. sport. Friends, we have a great team of conservative candidates across this province who are putting their hearts and souls into this campaign. And friends, as we enter the final stretch, I urge you to keep working full out for all of them because we need them all, all of them, in Ottawa after May the 2nd. That's David, Bruce, Gerald, George, Peter, of course, Scott, Wanda. We have to get them there to keep this Savagely, 
When we cut the sales tax, the federal sales tax, from 7 to 6 to 5 percent, and I'll tell you this, Jack Layton will raise that sales tax back up with a smile just as quick as the NDP did here in Nova Scotia. Yeah. is this party, the Conservative Party.
the economy. That is what we were trying to get the minority parliament to deal with. That's why on March the 22nd, we presented our budget. Ce budget est la prochaine phase du plan d'action économique du Canada. Un plan avec lequel ce pays, le Canada, sort de la récession mondiale dans l'une des positions les plus fortes du monde. the plan by which this country, Canada, has been leading the global recovery. <laughs> Our party is honored by Canadians with another mandate. We will get back to work next Tuesday. Our government will hit the ground running, focusing upon four immediate national priorities. I laid these out earlier this week. These are priorities that Canadians support and priorities on which we have a proven track record. Notre première priorité est de garder votre taxe vos impôts pour créer des emplois et de la croissance. Our number one priority is and will remain our low tax plan to create jobs. Thank you. 
Our third priority is to continue to fully fund federal transfers for health care. Now, friends, let me be crystal clear about the difference between ourselves and our opponents when it comes to balancing the budget. When faced with a deficit, the Liberals cut health care spending by one-third since taking office. Our government has increased health care spending. <laughs> by self-transfers by 6% per year. We said we would, and we have. We say we will, and we shall. Our fourth priority is taking action so that Canadians feel safer in their streets and neighborhoods Friends, the rights of criminals must not come ahead. Yeah. Do we go to this election and create our own 
who is making the big decisions. Get the big decisions wrong, and it will be a long, hard course to dig ourselves out. There are many here who remember, because I know I remember, the Liberal NDP arrangement in the 1970s, and how it took a generation for Canada to dig ourselves back out. Why would Canada go down a high-tax, high-spending route right now? Look at the strengths. Friends, look at the strengths of our country as the global recovery takes hold. The strongest financial system in the world. Deficit and debt levels way below most of the other countries. Solid investments in infrastructure. An educated, ambitious, culturally diverse workforce. A range and abundance of natural resources and tax rates that are falling, attracting investment, creating jobs, and giving families some breathing room. Friends, faites le bon choix. Gardons le cap sur l'économie et une génération de prospérité nous attend. Friends, make the right choice, stay on the right track, and a generation of prosperity awaits our great country. Security by electing a strong, stable, national majority conservative government. 